this is not bad for not uploading for a few months. And when they tell you that your channel will die if you don't upload, clearly it's not true. And the paycheck I got from Google was for $1,820. RPMs and CPMs are the highest in November and December. Because of that, I technically only spent less than 12 hours on working on YouTube in that year. Uh, so that's pretty crazy. Uh, I did gain 2 million views. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be sharing my income from AdSense in 2021. And last year I actually didn't film or upload any videos on my YouTube channel for over half of the year. Last year was crazy for me. I moved from California to Texas. Then the first uh, part of the year, I was uh, focusing on searching for my first home. Uh, then we bought a home and we are renovating for the next few months and it was very time consuming and at the time I was still prioritizing my job uh, so I had very little time to do anything else so unfortunately I had to put uh, my YouTube channel on very long pause unplanned pause but you know it it was something that I didn't predict I never renovated the house in my whole life uh, I didn't know how long it would take I didn't know how much time uh, it would take and it was just a crazy year and the reason why I decided to share my income uh, from 2021 is because I did take a very long break and I hear a lot of youtubers saying that they can't take any vacation because otherwise YouTube will stop uh, promoting their videos and they will just you know their YouTube channel will die and this video hopefully will prove you uh, that it is not true. You can still have a pretty nice income um, from your YouTube channel, even if you are not filming, even if you are not uploading uh, regularly. And like I said, I do have a full-time job that has been always my main focus. So I only could, you know, dedicate as much time as I could to my YouTube channel. And because my previous year was so crazy, I had very limited time. And I would say I probably uh, dedicated maybe uh, less than 12 hours uh, on filming and editing all the videos that I uploaded in 2021. And, you know, just thinking about it, it's kind of crazy. Uh, also seeing how much you've actually paid me for for that amount of time that I uh, dedicated. And just a disclaimer, I'm not making this video to brag. I just wanna share my income with you to be transparent and to maybe motivate some people to start a YouTube channel as their side hustle because like I said, you don't really have to put a lot of time into YouTube to get uh, pretty significant paychecks every month. And I know for many people, you know, getting a thousand, two thousand dollars a month is not a lot, but uh, considering that uh, AdSense income is not my main source of income from my YouTube channel. It's actually affiliate marketing. And a lot of YouTubers also mention sponsorships as their main source of revenue. Uh, for me, uh, I actually didn't work with any brands in 2021. And for now, I'm focusing on growing my YouTube channel. I don't want to uh, just take any sponsorships that I receive. And I'm waiting on reaching out to brands that I want to work with uh, just until I grow my channel a little bit more. Um, I just feel like that's the right thing to do. And because, again, like YouTube is not my main source of income, I don't really need to rely on sponsorships or income from YouTube at all. So for now, I'm not taking uh, any sponsorships. But I know that there are bigger YouTubers that are getting paid a lot of money uh, for the sponsorships. And that's usually their like the biggest source of revenue. So, you know, maybe in the future, but not for now. And at the end of this video, I will be sharing my tips on how to make passive income from YouTube and also my strategy for 2022. I am planning to improve performance of my YouTube channel and I have some plans. So I will be sharing that uh, with you after I share my income. Without further ado, let's get into it. So I'm just gonna share uh, my income and all my stats, uh, basically month by month, I'm gonna start with January. Uh, that's uh, when I actually moved to Texas. I believe it was January 14th, 15th. Uh, so the f <laughs> for a few days of that month, I was actually on a road trip from LA to Dallas. 
And I did have some videos filmed uh, earlier in 2020 uh, that I did upload in that month. And in January 2021, I uh, uploaded four videos in total. I received 212,000 views. Watch time in hours was almost 10,000. I gained over 400 followers. And the paycheck I got from Google was for $1,829.70. So that's not bad at all. And my top video in January was how to laundry for a small home review of my portable washer. Um, and that video did very well uh, in 2020, uh, obviously because no one was going to the laundromat. So uh, that video blew up um, in 2020. But as you can see, it was still pretty popular uh, even in uh, 2021. And my RPM for January was $5.81. My CPM was $10.59. And in February, I uploaded three videos and I got 185,000 views. Uh, watch time was uh, 8,000 and I gained 364 followers. And the video that made me the most amount of money in February was how to remove skin tags. Uh, that was my review of the uh, product that I got on Amazon. And uh, yeah, that video also did very well. Uh, RPM for in February was $6.42, so slightly higher. And CPM was uh, at $11. And in February, I made $1,315.01. And now uh, March, in March... Uh, I uploaded two videos and that was my uh, come house hunting with me in Dallas and also uh, pet safe automatic pet feeder review and I gained 191,000 views, 8,000 hours in watch time, I gained over 400 followers and my RPM was uh, even higher in March. It was at 720 and my CPM was at $12.07. In March, I made $1,277. And now, April, uh, I also uploaded two videos and I gained 180,000 uh, views in April, eight hours in watch time, I gained over 400 followers. And the top earning video was, again, still uh, how to remove skin tags. And the RPM was slightly lower in April. It was at 6.59 and CPM was at 11.93. And in April, I actually made more than in March and in February, I made $1,466.77. Okay, and now we will be talking about May. And May was the month uh, when I stopped filming and uploading uh, to my YouTube channel. I was focusing on just renovating my house and that yeah, that basically took a few months and um, yeah, I just, I stopped uploading for, for a few months. I remember I was very stressed. I remember I was like, oh no, uh, what's going to happen? Like, you know, my YouTube channel will die. But unfortunately, like that was the reality. I just completely didn't have time. I didn't have the mental capacity. And in May, I gained almost 180,000 views, almost eight hours in uh, total watch time. And uh, I gained 375 followers. And my RPM for that month was uh, 648. And my CPM was 1220. In May, I made less than April. I made only $1,260.09. I didn't upload any new videos, zero. Um, that was the first month when I wasn't uploading anything, but yet I was still making money from all the videos that I have on my channel. And that was still bringing me a lot of views. So considering that I didn't upload any videos and yet I made more money, it's because YouTube actually picked up some of the videos that I uploaded in 2020 and started promoting them. And that just confirms that not every video that you upload will be a hit. And even if it won't be, uh, some of your older videos that you think that weren't performing, they may blow up, you know, after a year, 
like in my case, uh, after a few months, just some topics pick up after some time when, you know, they're trending or just because YouTube is seeing this video as a good video, people are commenting, people are liking that video. And because of that, YouTube ranks it as a high quality video that is um, worth recommending. And that's another video uh, that it's pretty much evergreen. That's something that, you know, it's not just uh, popular in one year, but, you know, people will be still, people will be always looking for, you know, uh, solutions to their problems. So that's a good example of a video that will technically could last a few years. Unfortunately, the product that I was using in the video is no longer available. So that video stopped being promoted. And for some time, I was getting a lot of comments from people uh, saying that they can't get the product. And it's possible uh, that uh, a lot more people were disliking the video because of it, because I was talking about the product that is no longer available. Um, I know now that this video, I think it just, it's buried somewhere like i'm not getting any uh views on it so that's something to keep in mind too because if you are talking about the product that you know you don't have control over like if it's not your product if you know um you bought it on amazon and they will take it down then unfortunately it will have an effect on your videos so that's something to consider if you make review videos if you make how to videos and you talk about product that you can't really easily replace. This was actually a specific product that unfortunately, you, like I don't see any other similar product on Amazon. So I can't even, you know, replace a link for it. It just doesn't really work. There are different like tools and uh, ways uh, to solve the problem that I'm talking about in the video, but that would require basically uh, another video. So um, that's something to definitely consider and let's hop into uh, June. Okay, in June, again, I didn't film or upload any videos and I did get less views. I got only 156,000 views, almost 7,000 hours in watch time and I gained a little over 300 followers and my RPM for uh, June was uh, 691 and my CPM was uh, 1198. And in June, I made slightly less money than in May. I made $1,264.70. And I also want to mention that not all the views that you're getting on your videos are monetized. And uh, that's because uh, not everyone is watching the ads on your videos. And because of that, you may get a lot of views, but if those people aren't watching the ads, that are in your videos, then you're gonna make less money. So yeah, that's why those services such as Social Blade are not very accurate because uh, technically you can't really calculate because you will not know unless you're logged in to someone's YouTube channel account, uh, you will not see uh, you know, their views, their RPMs, their CPMs, uh, how many paid views they got, that's something you know, it's very hard to calculate if you don't have access to those analytics. So um, that's why you will see some discrepancies between, you know, the views, the RPM, the CPM, like higher RPM and higher CPM not always mean you are getting more money. And that's why I think this is so valuable because, you know, I'm not a full-time YouTuber. This is totally just my side gig. And like I said, I didn't actually put a lot of hours in uh, creating content last year and yet it still paid me a lot uh, just because of the content the type of content i created and uh their the content longevity um okay so let's move on to july and july was another month where i didn't upload anything and i made again almost 160,000 views almost seven hours uh, in watch time. I gained less subscribers. It was only 264 and I made significantly less than in the past few months. I made only $1,164.11. I thought I would make even less than I made, so that's not too bad. Um, my RPM was $6.16 and my CPM in July was $10.96. And my top earning video was how to remove calculus. And it made me $122.50. And I think I uploaded that video in January. 
uh, and it just picked up basically in uh, July so seven months later so this just shows you like my videos um, don't really get a lot of views from my subscribers like as soon as I upload it uh, I don't really get a lot of views but uh, because of that some of those videos um, pick up you know after a few months sometimes even after a few years just because the video didn't pick up as soon as you uploaded it does not mean that this video is trash, you know? I had a period of time where when I saw that the video wasn't performing well, I was deleting it from my channel and I was not giving it a chance to succeed. Those videos weren't really performing in the first few months, uh, in the first year, uh, some of these two. Um, and they picked up after a very long time. So if uh, you're in the same boat, if you upload a video and you don't really get a lot of views from your subscribers, don't delete any videos because uh, there is a high chance that this video will be picked up by YouTube's algorithm and will explode, you know, later on. Um, so that just proves that I have to stop sweating, you know, seeing the numbers as soon as I upload videos. Like I just have to wait and you know, focus on creating good quality content with good SEO, with good titles, with good descriptions, with good keywords. That's what I have to focus on and just let it go, uh, you know, see how it performs after a year. So if you are growing your channel, you are uploading a lot of videos and you are not getting views, well, don't give up. Sometimes you really have to, you know, give it some time because uh, that's what I'm seeing. You know, a lot of those videos that are recorded, they just pick up after a few months. Okay, let's move on to August. And in August, again, I didn't upload anything. And I actually made, uh, gained more views than in the past month. I gained 170,000 views, almost 7,000 hours in watch time, and uh, 339 followers. And my RPM uh, was at $6.01. My CPM was at $10.94. And in August, I made even less money than in July. I made uh, $1,018.62. Um, so, you know, there is a trend. It's going down definitely, but I wouldn't say it's a sharp drop. And, you know, considering that I wasn't uploading videos for a few months at this time, like, you know, still making $1,000, that's not bad at all. Uh, I did expect to actually, like, I expected that I wouldn't make any money. That's the reality. This is not bad for not uploading for a few months. You know, when they tell you that your channel will die if you don't upload for, you know, a month, like, clearly it's not true. Okay, and let's move on to September. And in September, I gained 154,000 views, six hours in watch time. Uh, almost 300 followers and my RPM was at 660 and my CPM was at 1262. So interesting, uh, it definitely went up. And in September, I made slightly more than in August. Uh, I made $1,065.87. So that's interesting. It's probably because my CPM and RPM uh, were higher. And yeah, I mean, yeah, and still, again, the video from 2020 uh, was still making me the most amount of money. Okay, and moving on to October, I filmed and uploaded one video, and it was my live update video. And uh, so, yeah, it's been a few months. I finally recorded a video. It was mostly like, you know, a vlog type of video, mostly like talking about what happened and why was it gone. So it wasn't uh, an evergreen video, and it was mostly... Um, the video that I knew that I wouldn't get really a lot of views. I mostly wanted to update my subscribers and I gained 153,000 views, uh, almost six uh, hours in watch time, 260 followers. My RPM was at 664 and my CPM was at 1271. And in October, I made, again, slightly more money than in uh, September. I made uh, $1,069.99. So not a huge upgrade, uh, just slightly more. And moving on to November, um, that was another month where I didn't upload anything. And I gained 151,000 views, almost six hours in watch time, 281 subscribers. 
and my RPM was actually, I think that at the all time high, it was at 742 and my CPM was at $13.66. So that was, I would say the top um, RPM and CPM of the whole uh, year. And it's probably because of Black Friday, I have a feeling. So whatever I was talking about, they would probably put some ads uh, for the Black Friday. That's just what I'm assuming. I don't know for sure, but that's what I'm thinking. Usually RPMs and CPMs are the highest in November and December. That's pretty much, you know, been the standard every year. And that's why a lot of YouTubers uh, film uh, Vlogmas series because um, then they get, you know, a lot of, a lot more money um, on every video that they upload. So uh, that's just, that's just what it is. And I made, oh, slightly more than in uh, October, $1,077.18. So again, just slightly going up, uh, even though my RPM and CPM were higher, uh, I guess I just didn't get a lot of monetized views, so. Okay, and in December, I actually uploaded three videos uh, the first one was the Ordinary Multi-Peptide Serum Update. And then I uh, recorded a comparison between different fluffy uh, slippers. And at the end of the month, uh, just before the new year, I uploaded my uh, hair tutorial. These were the three videos that I uploaded. I gained uh, almost 150,000 views, uh, almost six hours in watch time. Uh, I gained 240 uh, subscribers in my... CPM was actually even higher, was at $13.17, and my RPM was at $7.10. Uh, like I said, it's because it's November and December, uh, that's when companies just wanna you know, spend all the money they plan to spend in the year. So there is uh, usually a huge push in those months, and especially that you know, a lot of people buying uh, stuff. Um, just because of all the holidays. And in December, I actually made even more money than in the previous few months. I made $1,190.79. So uh, it was the highest paying month in six months. And again, I mean, I'm pretty sure partially it was because I did upload some um, more videos, definitely that did impact uh, that I made more money, uh, but I wouldn't say it added a lot. And it's mostly because those videos didn't really, you know, blew up right away after I uploaded them. Um, so that's why, you know, you, you really don't see a huge increase. So in total, I only uploaded 14 videos in 2021, and I actually didn't film a lot of those videos in 2021. Uh, there were a lot of videos that I re pre-recorded in 2022 and just didn't have time to edit them, so I uploaded them in 2021. Uh, but like I said, because of that, I technically only spent less than 12 hours uh, on you know, working on YouTube in that year. Uh, so that's pretty crazy. Uh, I did gain 2 million views and 82,000 uh, hours in watch time, almost 4,000 followers. And my average RPM for that year was at 660 and my CPM was at $11.92. And considering that I had a huge break in the middle of the year uh, where I thought that my YouTube channel will totally die, it didn't. It actually uh, picked up at the end of the year. I don't see like a huge drop in uh, those analytics. And it did dip a little bit, but you can see that it's pretty consistent. And, uh, you know, my earnings in 2022, like, were pretty much on the same level. And that's mostly because my videos from previous years were still performing very well. And that's because they are evergreen content that technically, uh, you know, people will always be interested in watching. So even though one of those top videos, uh, the product that I was talking about is not longer available, uh, that video pretty much, uh, I think it died now or it's dying still. Um, because unfortunately you can no longer uh, get the product that I'm talking about in the video, um, which is such a bummer because I actually like the product. My goal is to uh, go back to my regular schedule. I want to focus on releasing at least one video a week. Uh, ideally, 
I would love to have enough time to upload videos uh, every other day. That would allow me to uh, test a lot of different concepts and see how they perform on my channel. And I definitely don't want to put myself in any niche. I know that a lot of uh, YouTubers recommend to have, you know, a niche picked up. I currently don't have a niche. And uh, as you can tell, like my videos are still performing really well. And yes, you know, I don't really get a lot of views from my subscribers. I'm still kind of like searching for my niche. So in 2021, I think my goal is to find a niche or few niches. I definitely don't want to limit myself. I do have a lot of ideas for videos in 2022. Uh, and I think uh, what I will be doing, I definitely want to research more. In the past, I would just film videos about whatever interests me, whatever like I bought and I was excited about. And I think in 2022, uh, I really want to focus on growing my channel and I want to be more strategic about my choices uh, because I'm realizing that I don't really have a lot of time. Uh, like I said, I'm still focusing on my job. That is my uh, that is my main source of income. That is my priority. And because of that, I don't really have, you know, a lot of time to spend on uh, working on videos that will, may not perform really well. And unfortunately, uh, because of that, or maybe fortunately, uh, I will try to uh, film videos that I will plan ahead. So I'm trying to cut down on videos that, you know, I will record on the spot whenever I feel like it. I think my goal for 2022 is to basically plan videos ahead of time. And none of my videos are scripted, which, you know, that's my style. I know that for a lot of people, they need to have videos scripted. Uh, it's kind of funny because I actually work at the ad agency. So I actually like write scripts and work on scripts and uh, that's how we make all the videos, but none of my YouTube's videos are scripted. I may try that. I actually, I think I'm gonna like test it out on uh, my husband's channel because he wants to record more videos that are more like scripted. So I think I'm gonna be testing that out on another channel, but for this one, I'm still planning to do a lot of reviews uh, and videos about topics that interest me. You know, this is, a channel for me, you know, to have fun with, because that's very important. You know, if you're going to be trying to grow your YouTube channel and, you know, you're going to niche out, you're going to try to make videos on topics that are like, you know, not always interesting to you, I feel like you may burn out. And that's what I don't want to do. Uh, that's why I still want to have a lot of fun with this channel, but still plan out those videos. I want to make sure that I research every video idea that I wrote down and see uh, which uh, videos uh, may have a high chance of winning. And those videos I will put on the top of my list to prepare. And this way I will, you know, minimize the time that I'm spending on filming and editing videos that are just, you know, total fails uh, because I definitely had a lot of them. And because I didn't record a lot of videos last year, it was very clear to me to see that those videos that I just recorded on the spot whenever I felt like it, uh, without doing any research on the topic, uh, without actually checking if people are searching for it, uh, well, those videos weren't performing really well. And uh, well, fortunately, I didn't spend a lot of time on them. But yet, that time I could spend on making videos that succeeded. And I definitely had a lot more of those videos in 2020. So yeah, that's my goal for 2022. And before you go, don't forget to check out this and this video. And uh, let me know if you have any questions. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you soon next video. Bye-bye.